if I push in the direction that I want the bike to go, now all of a sudden I'm, I lean that way. So I push to the right, it leans to the right. If I push to the left, it leans to the left. Hello again, welcome back to another video. Today, Mackenzie is going on her very first ride. We saw her MSF practice and she passed her test. She's officially endorsed and uh, we're gonna take her out and we're gonna talk about what the class does for you and what it doesn't do for you and how you can uh, get yourself ready. So let's do it. Okay, so here we are. We're moving, we're gonna go get some gas and then we're going on our very first twisty road. Haha. -ha. The real truth is that after you pass your test, if you've had no prior riding experience, you pass your test and it's a two day class, you are not ready for the highway. You're not ready for major traffic. You're not ready for the wildness that happens on the road. Keep in mind that in the class, you're, you've really only gone maybe 20 miles an hour. That's it, max, right? So how could they expect you to have your endorsement and then just get out on the road right from there? It's a shame, it really is, because there is just so much more that you need to learn about riding than you are gonna get in just this class. Now, with that being said, luckily, you know, somebody like Mackenzie who had three months of practice up until the class, was the best person in the class, passed her test with no points, way ahead of the curve, right? Because you're you're practicing, you're learning the skills that you need outside of just the ones to pass the test, and that's setting you up for experience on the road. Now again, as far ahead as she was, we're still gonna take it nice and slow when it comes to getting out on the road. We're not gonna get on major highways for a while, we're gonna build up the speed, the comfortability, all of those things. That's why we're out, we're out on our first ride. She, I mean, as you can see, completely comfortable, all good. But we're going to, uh, we're gonna get some gas. We're gonna go down and um, do a little twisty road and we'll, we're gonna talk about that and braking and cornering. and We're gonna to start to build those skills up too. Jet fuel. All right, so we are on one of the twistier roads here. It's really good practice for new riders because every turn is going to look way more exaggerated than it actually is, especially whenever you're new. So you're going to want to slow down a ton on these roads. I actually want to get behind her. Um, but what's tough is she's never been on this road before, so it's hard for her to know what's coming up. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of line leading into these turns. So it goes like this and then back into this one. So we start from the outside, we lean all the way in. And it actually, what's nice with this, this twist switch back is that now we're on the outside of this turn and lean into the apex going this way, right? So the speed limit's a little faster, it's 45. So we can speed up, but it's like I said, it's good practice to get out here on some of these back roads, a little bit twistier roads, uh, to get a better feel for the motorcycle at highway speeds, right? Because you're starting to take turns, we're, we're starting to lean the motorcycle, not just in slow speed maneuvers, learning what the bike does whenever you move it. Now, remember, whenever you're in slow speeds, you can turn the handlebars, right? to make your U-turns, to make your maneuvers, a 90 degree turn from a stop. But when you're at speed, we're actually pushing the bars. So we're pushing the direction that we want it to go. If I turn the handlebars, if I want to go to the, I want to turn the bike to the right. If I turn, the, immediately you can see the bike leans to the left. If I turn, oh, it leans. But if I push in the direction that I want the bike to go, now all of a sudden I'm, I lean that way. So I push to the right, it leans to the right. If I push to the left, it leans to the left. And it's something that you don't get to practice in the class. In the class, it's all slow speed maneuvers. It's all, we're just, and we're going in tight little circles, U-turns, etc. right? But you don't really get the full turn experience. You don't really get to go at speed and you don't get to 
see and feel how the bike actually moves in the opposite direction of how you are thinking in your head it should go. This turn right here is really sharp, so I'm going to come past her. I'm going to go right here, but it's going to slow down into this turn. Because this one is like actually kind of sharp on this road, and so we're going to slow way down, and we're going to go into the turn, and we're going to lean it all the way over, and there we go. There we go. Perfect. But anyways, this is great practice. She's doing great. Everybody, two thumbs up for Mackenzie, who is doing a fantastic job. We're out here on the road. Continue to learn. She's going to continue to get better. We're going to continue to increase increase the speed, get her more comfortable, and uh, yeah, go from there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.